Hopefully you can hear me, and I'm not made up, so, oh well. Um, and I have the air conditioner on, so I apologize, but this is Sadie. She is in her first stage of labor where she's panting a whole lot, and she does get the shakes every now and then. She's completely off her food. Such a love bug. She really wants me to uh, be in her whelping box with her, which is just a pool. A bunch of towels and old blankets. And I actually brought the pillow for her to kind of lay on. Um, this is just a little love bug. She just wants to be close. And if I go sit on the couch or my chair, she'll climb up on the other side of the couch, which we don't normally allow. But it just seems like when we're near her, she actually does this. She breathes really hard through her nose. But she sleeps. She rests. She doesn't seem to pace as much. So um, We had a puppy count about uh, well, last Friday. So today is Wednesday, April 29th. So we had the puppy count x-ray on Friday. And they said six, possibly seven. Her sire is a chocolate uh, purebred lab, and his name is Toby. I believe he's about a year and a half, and he's beautiful. And she, of course, is a yellow, but she does have fox red, or red fox, whatever they call that color, in her bloodline. So it does kind of come out in her ears. Um, and she's just beautiful. Her temperament is very calm. Um, I have a neuro, a very rare neuro disease where my immune system attacks my spinal cord, um, which is, uh, I've been diagnosed with MS and transverse myelitis, so, um, which transverse myelitis can just be the cousin or sister or evil aunt of MS. So when I'm in pain or I'm not doing very well, she senses it and she comes and stays near me. Um, so she's a great intuition she has a great intuition of what I'm going through and she's just a little love bug so I'm gonna lay here for a while um, if I recognized it early enough she started the panting well yesterday she slept a lot she didn't eat a whole lot um, she slept yeah you know, she laid around really really close to my feet um, last night. So I got up around 4.30 last night to check on her. Yeah, she's getting comfortable. And she was panting pretty good at about 5. And she was going around the house in any kind of throw rug. She was trying to dig up and move around. So like the, the denning up, you know, trying to get herself prepared. And then the panting started, I'd say about 6. A really heavy panting and the shaking and very restless, can't get comfortable. Um, so we're going on, oh, I think it's about, yeah, it's half to 30. So we've been going on about eight and a half hours. So they say this first stage can last up to 24 hours, but this is her third litter. Um, she just turned six, so this will be her last. She will be spayed after weaning and um, we already got homes for three of the pups, so we got three that will very vet very carefully for a good home. I'd like to see the pups go to somebody who needs like an emotional support animal, or um, even wants to go forward and, if the temperament's right, spend the extra money to train the animal, the, the pup to be a the animal, the pup to be a um, a service dog because she definitely has those. She definitely has that temperament. She's very easily trained. Even when we got her at five years old, I've trained her in certain things that I need help with, and she's she's picked up it uh, picked it up very very quickly. And again, she's just very uh, uh, keyed into what my needs are and what I'm going through. So she is a blessing. And her name is Sadie. Her official name is um, Clarence's Sadie, I believe, or Cl yeah, I think it's Clarence's Sadie. But we, of course, we just call her Sadie other weird unusual nicknames <laughs> many 
Anywho, just wanted to show you the first stages of labor. Um, not me, obviously, because I'm a mess, but just the panting. Very uncomfortable, fidgety, wants to be really close all the time, so I'm in the pool with her. Just watching some Hulu or Netflix with, with her. You can see her babies in there. Just a panting away, so. And uh, once the babies are able to kind of go up on the side of the pool, I will definitely be away from the uh, electrical outlet here. I'll definitely block that off, so. Anywho. God bless you guys, and um, I will do more later. Cheers.